seems quite a sparky character, Gloria. Oh, she is very sparky. I think that's why she's attracted to what the latest trend is and the red hair and the beautiful uh, degloté that she wears. And she has so much care in her appearance. And But she's also got this kind of sadistic streak in her, which kind of, I think, makes her a little fascinating, especially Logan, um, to how she ticks and what's going on about her. We're going to Barcelona. We're going to Madrid. Barcelona. Ow! This relationship has no strings attached. And there's something for both of them that's very special about that, because I, there's an acceptance, and also, when they get together, it's, it's chemistry, whether it's physical or uh, just running down steps, having fun, going to the beach, driving in the car. There's a, there's a romantic notion that never comes down to reality of actually living with someone. So they're always on a love affair. Their relationship goes through three decades, really. And you see them as friends versus lovers, is very attracted to one another. But there's always that sort of bond of understanding and acceptance that they have. And I think that's why Gloria, at the end, comes home to him to die, because she has felt completely, in his presence, um, accepted for who she is and how she is, which has not always been the truth for her marriages. So I think that there's a bond that lasts. and. Uh, having to work with Matthew and then with Jim has been such a great pleasure. Matthew and I just did a play together in the West End, which was a huge success. So we already had chemistry without really working too hard. But meeting Jim, who I'd been a huge fan of for years, was, uh, was quite something. And to work with him, uh, he got his start at the Liverpool Playhouse, where I was born in Liverpool, and I'm just about to do a play at the Playhouse. So there's, you know, there seem to be all these crossroads with everyone in the in the cast, and it's uh, it's been a very happy experience.